Good morning, everybody. Yes, hello. This is Wednesday today. What an exciting thing am I going to be doing today? Well, it's half past ten, folks. It's very, very cold indeed. Shades on. Who knows where we'll end up. So stay with me, folks. Thank you to everybody for commenting, subscribing, and liking the video, folks. Appreciate everything. So let's just get on with today's adventure and see where we end up. Thank you. All right, folks, we're just coming over the bridge, the Tay Road Bridge. And there was a massive queue going all the way back over the roundabout. So I want to see what's going on, man. Because I hope there's nothing happened, because I've, well, I've come over this way, I need to get back. Anyway, let's see what's going on. there folks but the barriers have come down whether it's by mistake or I don't know is there normally when these kind of things come down we normally there's either somebody trying to jump off the bridge or there's a big heavy load coming across or I'm not actually sure what's going on folks so I have to hang about and see what's going on Right, folks, well, this is a very sad story here. We're in the Tayport Cemetery where, around about this time of year, Spiz like to come and donate a toy to the grave of the unknown bairn here. Very sad story indeed, folks, of a child's body uh, which was washed up on the shores here of Tayport back in the, the early 70s, and nobody knew whose uh, who's bairn it was, whose child it was. So the, the, the horrified residents of Tayport here erected a grave or a gravestone anyway, to the unknown bairn. And uh, people come and leave toys and things on its grave. So that's what, uh, what I've come to do here. I think it's just over here, the grave. Here it is. So here it is, folks. The unknown bairn. 1970. There it is, folks. Left the action man. I always wonder what to do with that toy there, so there it is. Mm. Right, folks, just had a, a word with the chaps there. Soon as a pontoon getting lifted out by this massive crane down here. So we'll just watch that for a little bit. Crikey, it's quite a, a big crane. Look at that. So let's take one of the, the pontoons out. So here we go. So it's going to be attaching it up here. I see an old pontoon here that's just worn away. I think it's the way to go, folks. Oh, I'm always giving a hand signal. This is it. Yes, here it goes. Oh, much excitement, man. Look at this.
Good lord, folks, it's so cold down there. Probably not the best place to come and uh, and stand uh, down at a, a cold dock site. <laughs> but yeah, a bit of excitement there watching that uh, old pontoon get moved away. So I think we're going to move into warmer climbs now. Maybe head back over the bridge and into the town where it's a little bit warm. A bit of urban heat is required, I think. Now, in all the years that I've lived in this area, folks, I've never been in this little bit here. This is the promenade area down at Tayport. I reckon back in the olden days, this must have been the hub of social life down here. There's a little pond over there, which you're going to have a look at. And there's the, the cold North Sea mixing with the Tay right here, folks. This is the estuary. This is it. Let's twist again like we did last summer. Oh yeah, let's twist on like we did last year. And I've just cut through a gap in the the trees. Oh my goodness me, it's rather squidgy here. Um, I don't really know where I am. Somebody's. Oh, it's really squidgy here, man. Look, goodness me. I found a, a stream that comes out of a little culvert there. goes under there. Hmm. Oh, it comes under here. And this house is owned by Scott Fife Water Department. Alright, okay. Alright, so behind me there folks, that what just looks like a normal flat sort of apartment block was actually the the home of Tayside or Scott Fife anyway water board so the water runs under here and all the way over here and underneath here I wonder where that goes Tayport Works Links Road well this looks empty in there man look Ooh. well there's a way to kind of follow that the uh, the house that old abandoned house thing there you can see it through the through the houses here but uh, just as I was about to get there 
a van pulled up and said, like two units horn. It's the fish van from wherever. And I saw the residents start coming out there to buy their fish. So typical. So I'll have to go and find somebody else to do now. Shanwell Court. Now a bit further over from here, we have the famous Shanwell uh, RAF listening station, which is all covered in graffiti. I've been there a few times before, folks. You've, you've probably seen it all covered in graffiti. Um, so the whole area here, Shanwell, it's called, and uh, attached to RAF Lucas. It was uh, a great place for them to hear when uh, when the enemy was coming, basically. So. Oh, I've stumbled into Tayport Football Club ground. Tayport Football Ground. Now, Tayport Football Ground is famous for two things. The first of which, obviously, is the Tayport Juniors Football Club. The second thing is they hold car boot sales there every second Sunday. Great one. It's, it's my favourite one there. There's one up at Errol and there's one here at the Tayport Football Ground. But for some reason, this one seems to be a bit better, for some reason. Well, folks, that's my stroll over. The camera died on me again, folks, just as I got to the Scots Craig golf course there. But I was almost at the end of my walk. All I basically did was come through uh, just about the golf course and then back to the car through the caravan park. That's it. It's a nice little round half hour stroll. It's very cold still, though. As soon as you get back to the, the water's edge, goodness me. Okay, there we go, folks. So that completes this morning's. Oh, there's people down there. Look, they're fishing. Right, okay. That finishes this morning's uh, adventure anyway. See you sooner than you think, folks. Right, folks. Well, you know how I found my present uh, the other day in the in the bedroom there. Well, what I've got for Rosie's Christmas present is something that I found in the cellar that um, I'm sure she won't mind, and I don't think she knows they're there. So these two old cushions that I found. So I'm just going to wrap them up and uh, oh, I'm sure she'll, she'll, she'll forget all about those cushions and they'll be like a brand new set of cushions um, and they look quite expensive. So I think I'll, that'll give me some brownie points for Christmas. So I'll wrap them up. Well, I'll wrap them together or individually. I'm not too sure. Maybe just together. Just put some tin foil around them and uh, she'll be, that'll be a lovely surprise for her. So hmm, they don't really smell that bad. So that's fine. Yes, that'll, that'll do her. I'll oh, maybe find something else for her. Here's a look, I'll just wrap this book up. She'll like this book, Dandy at a Glance. Doesn't look like it's been read, so yeah, that'll be fine. She'll like that as well. Um, and I'll get a shot of that as well. So that's fine, that's her Christmas sorted. Excellent. <clears throat> oh, for goodness sake, hang on. 